Greetings programs, welcome back to uh, Art Neo Masato. Uh, yeah, me trying to be clever here. Uh, <laughs> but really quick, I thought for fun I would do a quick little uh, introduction to anyone who's curious about working with lead holders. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, lead holders are, they're effectively just a very fancy form of mechanical pencil. Uh, lesson one, I will say, is go with the Stadler brand. Uh, their stuff is fantastic. You can get on Amazon for at least a long time. Uh, lead holders were really expensive. You can get one of these for like 10 bucks on Amazon now. They're great. What makes a lead holder special is you come up to the end here and you notice they've got these really almost like Dr. Octopus, you know, looking head that comes out. That is because these use, <laughs> overshot, uh, they use effectively full-size pencil lead. So, basically these are all the joys of, you know, soft shading using, you know, a normal pencil without having to deal with the wood shavings, you just have an exposed piece of graphite. And they can be a little weird to get into. There's, They're not a common thing, so they're not always the most understood. I figured I'd go through, just kind of give a few things about them really quick. So, first thing to note, especially if you get one of these, uh, you'll see there's this little silver arrow painted onto the main body. Uh, they normally have this little clip on them, and you can see that they have markings going all the way around the tube, or on this clip, to designate, you know, what kind of lead you have in this. Um, I don't like those clips. I took it off. So instead, I am designating what's in here via this cap. When you buy these, this cap will come silver, actually. But when you buy alternate lead they will come up here with a new cap that you can slide on. So they will be color-coded instead. Obviously, these are my HBs, which means they actually came with this black one over here. I have two of these, so I don't have to switch my lead back and forth. I've also got some B lead, just because it's a little darker, a little softer. And uh, step two, actually, is these lead refills themselves. Because I've seen a lot of people on the Amazon pages kind of confused about how these work. How you actually get the lead out. Um, the short version is you'll just want to put your thumb on this arrow and pull down. It will take a little doing. But you can see that it will uh, unpeg from this little slot here. And give you access to goodies inside. Lock shut. I've not had any issues with these things spilling out in my pencil bag. I really appreciate how steady they are. Um, this one obviously will just kind of slide around because all it does is hold your little one-time possible, uh, you know, replacement cap. Changing the lead in these is as simple as just open it up all the way and drop it in. So really nothing too special with this part of things. Funny enough, it does end up being the the lead refills that confuse people more than these. But then there's this thing. This thing took me a little getting used to. And this is actually what you use instead of a sharpener with one of these. Um, me being me, brand loyalty, yes. This too is Stadler. All of this stuff is made by Stadler. It's like 20 bucks to get, you know, one of these, this, and the pack of lead. Really, really good deal there. But what you do with this is you... Okay, so... <laughs> this is your <clears throat> sharpener. It's weird how it works. It takes some getting used to. First thing you have to decide is if you want... A really, really long, sharp end. Or, as I've done on this other one... Oh, pardon me. This is the long, sharp end. Um... This one, you'll notice, is actually blunted off at the end. So, first thing you do is decide if you want the blunted or the fully sharp end. For sake of demonstration, I will turn this one around. And we'll pretend that we're starting with a completely brand new, you know, piece of lead. So, 
you've got your fine tip here, and your blunt tip here. What you'll do is you'll stick the lead out way too far. And here, for sake of demonstration, we'll go with the, uh, the fine tip. So I'll push the lead down. It won't go anymore. Then I go ahead and open the pen. And it will, you know, give me a length sticking out of it. Obviously, if I go to the other hole, you'll see you don't end up extending it as far. So, different length. Then you'll just go ahead, slide it down in here, and start rotating it around. Very quickly, you'll notice it just starts moving freely. So, go ahead, pull it out. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, this little white spot here is basically just to, you know, kind of clean the end off if there's any loose graphite so it doesn't, you know, come down here and get stuck on your paper. But, yeah, that's that's all this does. Then you just pull this up and out. You've got your little bit of graphite shavings in there. You can see the... Uh, Weird little rough gear inside that is how this thing does its job. It's it's really easy to use once you know what's going on, but uh, yeah, knowing what's going on with this stuff can be it can be a bit of you know doing. And like I've said, you know these are this isn't exactly you know standard use stuff. So not everyone is going to know offhand how these work. So uh, if you've never heard of a lead holder before, uh, lead holders are awesome. I recommend getting one. They're even really nice for writing because, you know, you basically end up with this high quality, you know, mostly metal bodied mechanical pencil. Really good quality stuff. Really fun. Really great for sketching and shading because you don't have to worry about, you know, dealing with a new... You know, all, all the wood shavings and stuff that comes with it. And if you want, you can even, you know, you can put your graphite shavings in this to use. You know, just put them on your finger and rub it around if you need something, like, really, really dark. So, you end up having, you know, a lot less just, you know, waste and trash around, basically, from using these. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully... uh Someone will find this video useful. Uh, thank you guys for watching.